होलीनेस इज सिंपली सेपरेशन अन टू गोड ठीक है वचन के अनुसार अब हम बतलाता हूं ठीक है और तो वचन के जो मुताबिक से बतलाता तो वचन क्या कहता है होलीनेस पवित्रता के विषय में ठीक है होलीनेस इज सिंपली सेपरेशन अन टू गोड इट इन्वॉल्व्स वॉकिंग विद गॉड एंड अलाउइंग हिम टोटल एक्सेस टू ऑल एरियाज ऑफ आवर लाइफ्स पवित्रता के मतलब यही है कि परमेश्वर हम लोग के कॉन्सेंट्रेट करते हैं ठीक है हम हम लोग के असाइड मिल जाते हैं अपने नाम से पुकारते हैं अलग करते हैं छांटते सेपरेट करते हैं हम लोग वर्ल्ड में बट वी आर नॉट फॉर इन वी आर इन द वर्ल्ड बट नॉट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड राइट सो वी आर वी आर बीइंग कॉन्सेक्रेटेड एंड सेपरेटेड एंड बीइंग सेंटिफाइड एवरी डे थ्रू द होली स्पिरिट सो गॉड हम लोग के अलग करे तो हम लोग के होली होली यानी कि अनहोली में से होली बनाए अनहोली में से होली बनाए हम लोग के अलग करे कौन से क्रेट करे उसके मतलब और वॉकिंग विद गॉड इज इट इन बोथ तो क्या हमें जब जब व्हेन गॉड कौन से क्रेट्स आस ही सेट्स आस अपार्ट व्हाट डस इट इन्वॉल्व इट एक्चुअली इन्वॉल्व्स वी नीड टू इन्वॉल्व गॉड इन आर लाइफ्स एंड वी वॉक विद द लॉर्ड अलाउिंग हिम टोटल एक्सेस टू ऑल एरियाज ऑफ आवर लाइफ जब हम लोग के सब जीवन के सब भाग हम लोग परमेश्वर के हाथ में सौंप देगा और उसके अलाव करेगा कि वो अपन आत्मा के द्वारा हम लोग की अगुवाई करे और अपन आत्मा के द्वारा हम लोग के समझाए सिखाए सुधारे डिसिप्लिन करे तो उसके जो पवित्रता है हम लोग समझेगा तब बिकॉज वो हम लोग के पवित्र अंदर से बाहर बनेगी ठीक है बाहर से अंदर नहीं अंदर से बाहर और पवित्रता मतलब है कि हम लोग कॉन्सेक्रेटेड है वी आर गोड्स पीपल वी आर नॉट नो मो वी आर इन द वर्ल्ड but not of the world mm. so we cannot identify ourselves with the world anymore okay hum log alag hai god ke people hai aur pavitrata ke matlab ki hum log god ke liye jeeta hai aur alag hai aur hum log paap mein jaan bujh ke nahi jeega okay amen mm. holiness involves purity इन आवर थॉट्स वर्ड्स एंड डीड्स पवित्रता जो है वो जब हम लोग के अंदर है ये तो हम लोग के जो थॉट्स समझ है या विचार है और जो हम लोग के वचन है और जो हम लोग के कर्म है वो सही है होलीनेस इन वोल्स प्योरिटी इन आवर थॉट्स एंड इन आवर वर्ड्स इन आवर डीड्स होलीनेस के एक मतलब और है कि जो हमारा सोच है जो हमारा मुंह के वचन है और जो हम हम जो एक्ट करता है वो एक अलाइन गॉड के वर्ड में बना है आई विल थिंक गॉड्स वर्ड आई विल स्पीक गॉड्स वर्ड एंड आई विल एक्ट एज व्हाट गॉड्स वर्ड सेज दैट इज होलीनेस इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म दैट इज होलीनेस ना एंड होलीनेस इज पुटिंग गॉड फर्स्ट and obeying him even when we do not feel like pavitrata hame parmeshwar ke hamesha aage rakhe ke padi apan jeevan mein chahe hum feel karta chahe mangta chahe nahi hama jo flesh hai wo to parmeshwar se alag hamesha kari theek hai atma nahi lekin jo hum log ke flesh liye polan nahi chahe so agar hum log ke nature feel kare chahe nahi that's not here the concern or matter what matters is that we need to follow god and be faithful to him and love him and put him first and obey him in all areas of our lives whether we feel or not mm-hmm. that is another another way you can explain holiness theek hai to hum log sab time parmeshwar mein bana rahega uske vachan mein bana rahega aur uske vachan jab hum log ke andar rahi aur hum log sochega bolega aur karega to jaan jane ke uske vachan pavitra hai so that's what we are we become holy mm-hmm. see holy doesn't mean don't touch this that's the truth you know don't touch this if you didn't have shower don't go to church this these are rituals these are and this is good cleanliness is close to godliness as we learn in school but that is your physical cleaning you know but holiness is deep deeper than that that's your physical cleaning and being holy or being clean and you know but it's to do with your heart and mind so we receive god's word we harbor it we think about it meditate upon it we speak it and we do it 
And that means you're walking in the holiness of God. Amen? Amen. Next one, goodness. Right? I mentioned goodness. These are the light that should radiate through your Christian life, through your words, actions, and thoughts. This, this is what light in whole means. So I'm just breaking it in details. Okay? Goodness. What does goodness mean? Just remember, you know, you don't have to be right or wrong. As I always say, people don't know, nobody knows everything, but the word I'll share from the word later. But I just want you guys input. I want you guys to um, participate. Yeah, the heart of sympathy and empathy for others. Goodness, yeah? yeah. Oh, Feeling for someone, pain, like Jesus did. Yeah. Jesus did. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Anybody else? Goodness. That is also light, part of uh, what light is in general, all, but this is just each part, particular, you know, particles of light. Goodness. Okay. Uh, goodness is uh, maybe something that has been flesh we want to do, but we should not do. Uh, yes, because same. now, because we know God's ways, mm. and uh, like for example, say, uh, men's anger is not God's righteousness. Yes. For example, right? <laughs> That's very true. So, righteousness. Should we get angry? No. Mm -hmm. is the, uh, if, That's another but topic. If, yeah. I'll tell you. No, no, no. No, what I'm saying is when you talk about goodness, I'm just giving you an example. Don't I'm you, kidding. Yeah. Fine, so, go ahead. <laughs> so, if I'm getting angry, then I'm not, not in the goodness area. Mm -hmm. But if I... Remember that word, right? When I get angry, and I remember the word, uh, that word, and, and the word says, that, yeah, that is, that is not my righteousness. So why are you getting angry? So I will say, okay, right. Calm That's down. True. I will calm down. Calm down. And I will become, I will not do what I wanted to do. Yes. So that is like a sort of goodness, isn't it? Yes. Oh, you have yes. changed yourself. Yes. Goodness has so yeah. many faces. Excellent. Right. Yes. So I mean, it's just an example. I'm but I'm, I'm, and, you know, I'm listening more. Yes, I, I, yeah. well, I, I think anger plays a, a lot of uh, game in our life because it, it is something to do with your ID, it's also your ego, you know, <laughs> especially between spouse when the husband is saying something <laughs> relationship. and then you, you want to be right all the time, you know, you don't want to say that you are wrong, even if you are wrong, you know. So, <laughs> that's from so Adam and Eve. That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's, I mean, uh, I think uh, that's where a lot of... Uh, the beginning starts in, in our houses, especially if you are married between you and your spouse, mm -hmm. your children. I think that is where I think we should fix things first. Of Rather course. than going out and starting, hey, you should do this, you should do this, while at home you are not doing it. No, it it starts in Jerusalem. Yeah. No? Yeah. So our goodness <laughs> start at home. That's what it means. Start, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, start in Jerusalem, then you go broader. Jesus said, preach here, then go outside, right? So preach to yourself and to your family, and then outside. Like he said to the uh, person who was demon-possessed and when God delivered him and he said, Lord, I want to follow you. He said, go home, you know, tell everyone what Lord has done for you. That means testify and go share God's word with others. Go home. Look after your family. You've been away, been in graveyard and, you know, been uh, mad for so long, uh, mental issues. And for you, you haven't been home to your family. Go home and glorify God. So many times you see in the scriptures that, you know, we are to start. And it's, it's very, I mean, it's true. We all have to start with our own selves first. And then the next one in the family. And so slowly God's love flows. And God's kingdom will never stop, but it multiplies. So that's how it's going to be. If we follow his word, his principles, then... It will multiply. Amen? Yeah. So, goodness. Right behavior or righteousness? Goodness is, you can say it, right behavior or righteous, righteousness. Same thing. Right. Right. Do the right thing. I'll give you an example soon. Positive and not negative. So, in other words, goodness is, for example, you know what's good, so do it. Right? What's good? Being nice to someone is good. Love your neighbor. Love your neighbors is good. Forgive your enemies is good. Uh, yeah? You see on the road, you see the sign, 60 sign, right? 
So you do 60. Hmm? Do good. Do good. Huh? Yes, sir. Sometimes you think something is good for you, but your spouse thinks it's not good for you. So yes. What so what you do? What you do is uh, that is then uh, <laughs> that is uh, that is what you do. What you do is you, then you, then there will be a discussion between you two, and then uh, you have to weigh what. Work it out which one is the right. Uh, yes. The spouse is right or you are right. So yes. So then you have to weigh. You have to discuss. You have to discuss and and then see. Then you have to weigh it. Tolek pari, wait, ki kon la, me kon me fada hai. You see? So then you work out if this is good for me or no. And basically, what's good for us, uh, even a child, you see in child, they know, they're smart. We adults should know too what's good for us. And according to Bible, uh, goodness of God is just right living, right? Righteousness, right living. You know what's good, you just do what's good. You know, you shouldn't be struggling with doing good. Like you, to, to feed your uh, family, you have to work. It's good. Right? You go and talk to your neighbor, hello, hi, being nice, it's good. But it's not goodness, it's also not like somebody told me and they have shown me the, you know, like a mirror sometimes. We think goodness is being good if you are good to me, I'm good to you. But isn't that not goodness? If somebody is not good to you and then they're sitting there and you just offering them a cup of coffee, just like, no problem, you know, even no though problem. they never talk to you, nothing, yeah. it's a goodness, you know. Like, yeah. And they said if somebody is doing the same thing with you, because you're sitting in your ego, and thinking, yeah, I'm fine by myself. But somebody just, and she told me I have money and I'm rich. But, uh, you know, and I was thinking I'm helping someone. But that's not help. But the way they brought coffee for me, that oh, you're sitting by yourself. That was a goodness, you know, somebody mm -hmm. just, for uh, no thought. Yes. For nothing, no. Yeah, you don't it's want not, it's, it's, you're, not, uh, you're not doing good or something nice to mm -hmm. someone, yeah. uh, thinking that you will benefit from it. Exactly. This is, there's no benefit, but they did, when I was like, that I, I got a slap on my face, that I was thinking I'm doing some help to someone who need. Mm -hmm. But that's not always the goodness. That's no. the wrong prospect of goodness. That's right. Yeah. That's you're doing right. good. Yeah. That's the main thing in God's eyes. Exactly. Your motives were right. Your heart was in the right exactly. place, and you did good, even though that person didn't like it or whatever. Mm -hmm. But in God's sight, you did good exactly. as a Christian, mm -hmm. and that's what should matter to us. Exactly. I'm doing good. Praise the Lord. You don't want help, fine. Mm -hmm. You don't. You don't want me to be good, fine. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. God bless you. You walk away. Mm -hmm. But you done good because you're a Christian. You're light. Mm -hmm. You're shining. Mm -hmm. Shining. Amen. Mm -hmm. So goodness is right behavior mm -hmm. in a everyday life. Let's check our behavior. Examine our heart. Bible says, examine your own conduct. Mm. I have to examine my conduct. Ke my behavior is hai? My conduct is hai? That's very true. I was going to say that. <laughs> that yeah. we, we are point, every time we are pointing a finger at someone else, isn't it? Yeah. I think we should be pointing that finger at ourselves. So, we, yes. Yeah, yeah, so, I, you I, point I, one, but three is pointing towards you. Na? Mm. Someone said that. One you point, but three is pointing towards me. So in other words, Jesus even said that, uh, you know, why do you look at a little speck in your brother's eye, trying to help him to take the speck out of his or her eye, sister as well, in gospel, and don't look at your big long in your own eye. You see? So it's very, very important. But we're talking about here goodness. So right behavior. Goodness is right behavior. So how do we get the right behavior? How can we have? Uh, how can we daily walk and have right behavior? And our behavior would be good. How can we have the right behavior? Look at the log in your eye, then the speck in the others. <laughs> Amen. So right behavior, right behavior comes from right behavior comes from right thinking. Right behavior comes from right thinking. So if we think right, our feelings will be right, right? And when feelings are right. You'll behave right. Mm -hmm. But if this is not right, then your feelings are the place, your behavior will be wrong as well. Mm -hmm. So, mind has to be renewed with God's word. So, yes, right behavior and positive and uh, being positive, positive thinking, thinking and not right. So, what is right? James says that if you know what's right and you don't do it, it's sin. So if you know right, what is right? What is right in, in you know, you know, don't, don't gossip. If you have to say something, take the person in private if you need to. You know, if there's something major mm -hmm. and it's causing problem and all that, go to the person, talk to them, do the right thing, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, if someone uh, hurting you, you can go and say, look, uh, you, you, you hurt me or whatever. Do the right thing, but do it privately. You know, a lot of people, they... Um, <laughs> 
well, I, I, I don't really want to say in a way that, you know, you don't want to condemn or judge people, but majority in the church meetings or in churches, you know, sometimes um, God would give someone word of knowledge. For example, okay, for example, word of knowledge, right? And the, the pastor or the teacher or the preacher or the fivefold ministry minister will get the word of knowledge. And instead of going and God will give the word of knowledge, say for Shelly, mm -hmm. God gave me word of knowledge for you. And I stand here and I say, Shelly, blah, 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 blah. This is God is saying, right? I'm saying what God is doing. But that's not the right way, right approach. My job, I'm not prophesying, I'm saying word of knowledge. So my job is to, many times I have to go and tell pastors what God told me in my, while I'm doing the dishes and the bedroom making and God tells me, go and tell this pastor. That. I never say like that, you know, you don't tell everybody. You go to the person in private. You respect the person because thousand people doesn't need to know what she's going through in her life. It's very, very uncomfortable feeling when people, uh, you know, point at you among all the whole group. It's, I think it's very disrespectful. So what I'm saying is the right thing, what would be the right thing to do in this case is to, after the meeting or whenever you have time with her, say, sister, Lord showing me, I'm not, I don't know, you can tell me if it's correct or not. If I'm wrong, please forgive me, but this is what I've seen or heard. No, that's a respectful, that's the right way to approach. I'm not prophesying, I'm saying word of knowledge, you know. And many times I've got word of knowledge, but you speak to the person for whom the word has been given to you. You see? So these things are training and teaching. That's why we have five four ministry. That's why I'm a teacher, and you guys have two. You know, you're listening. But one of you may be a future teacher, or in future pastor, or apostle. You may be already. I don't know. But that's why five four ministry is given. So we train, we teach. You know, because nobody is born. God's Holy Spirit gives five four ministry. He anoints people, and five four ministers are gift to the body of Christ. Not to respect that. Sometimes we don't, and then we dishonor God at the same time by doing that. But what happens is your progress, your, your learning progress, and you could be spiritually here now, it will take you another 10 years then, because you didn't respect the person God sent in your life. I mean, that's, I'm just sorry, that's not my topic. Now we're talking about life. So this is all part of it though. You need to understand, you need to understand who's doing what and why. Because not everybody has been given the same gifts, right? We need to respect each other's gifts. That we need to learn. Because a lot of people don't respect each other's gifts. And then they grieve the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That's not the right thing to do. Do the right thing. What the Word says. Amen? But, um, how people will know what's right and wrong? Because a lot of people like, they do wrong, but they quote it with some righteousness for their for themselves, mm -hmm. like not for others, yeah. even for themselves. Yes. So basically, you, if you're a Christian and you are new, because you are like newborn baby, you will fall and fail until you start walking, then running, right? So mm -hmm. if you're a new Christian, the first stage, baby Christian. They will, not, they will not have that sort of understanding about right living, this and that. That is why they need fivefold ministry, right? So that's why we train and teach them. And once you know, then when you are mature, you're growing in Christ and you become more mature in Christ and in His Word, you will be able to discern the difference between flesh and spirit living. And if you don't know, you can ask. And if you're not sure you want to do something or you want to take a, a, a step, a big step or something, and you're not sure, the best thing is to ask someone who has more experience, who is, you know, who is, who is in fivefold ministry and who is your mentor or whom you can trust, whom you know you can trust, you can talk. And if, if a person who is honest, uh, honest mentor, honest teacher, honest preacher, they will, if they don't know, they will say, look, what I'll do, uh, this is what I do when people approach me and if I don't know something, I say that to them, look, I will pray and fast about it and then I'll ask Lord and see what Lord says through his word and his spirit and then I'll share. Right? So that's what you do. Like if you think what's, uh, it may be right in your eyes, but maybe not right in God's eyes. It may be right in your eyes and God's eyes, but not in your spouse's eyes. Mm -hmm. But if it, as long as it's right in God's eyes, then it is right. 
you see everything we do like sometimes you don't need to be a scientist to work out what's right right means doing the right thing you know and you know why do we have a law and order in our country why do we have law and order why because people are so foolish they know that they need to keep the like they need to do the right thing but they don't do so they are forced they are forced to obey laws mm. and orders we, whereas when god made adam and eve everything was perfect but after they fell everything went down right so now what even people know some people know you you think a person rapes someone doesn't know that i'm raping this person no they know unless they are totally nutty possessed with demon and mentally gone then they won't do it anyway because they're mentally gone so what i'm saying is common knowledge common sense god gave us how can god then judge those who are not saved they're going to be judged why because they got conscience they got conscience god built within each human soul to work on right and wrong right in our case because we christians we have more help through holy spirit see so he's helping us all the time when we go in the wrong direction regarding any aspect of our life when we go in the wrong direction holy spirit is our helper he helps us and say no 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 this way why are you thinking like no no don't repent now why are you thought about someone like this why <coughs> repent holy spirit is our leader our guide our instructor teacher our helper and jesus said he'll never leave you right but those i feel sorry for those people even those who are in the world and do not know christ they don't have the the help of holy spirit they still have the conscience within them and they have the spirit of, uh, from god the breath mm -hmm. right they know what's right and wrong yes sure i will send it like when, when a small child is like eating a chocolate it is all over the face and you ask them did you eat the chocolate they say no <laughs> so it is i think in the, from the beginning the child already is doing the wrong thing in flesh i think we are built like that isn't it mm -hmm. no one taught taught them but they they know that they have to say no i didn't because that is what they did is wrong isn't it yes because the sin yeah so i think we are already built when we are born we are built with that mm. and from the beginning we are always defending our wrong wrongs isn't it yes so i think inside we all know what is wrong like right yes but so we are just uh, making excuses yes to uh, to when justify, we do that, justify we, our yeah, sin we, yeah, 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 i have done that so uh, <laughs> this one is right now i do it yeah is uh, i've done the wrong now i just start to justify my room by saying nice things about it oh this 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 yeah. but now i know that uh, look they, i cannot do it no. because it's wrong it's wrong it's black and white it's black either wrong white. it's either wrong or it, it's either right or wrong yes and even so we come to that understanding right. then you will have a clear mind you will not point a finger at anyone else. no yeah because before i used to try to my room try to hang it on someone else you know Mm -hmm. But now, when I'm about to do it, I like me and I have to look at myself. Yes. And then I like, hey, my even my thinking is wrong. So I, right. I think we can do it. It's the conscience within yeah, us, yeah, right? Yeah. And when Holy Spirit <coughs> wasn't on this earth, when Jesus didn't come and die, how did godly people were righteous in God's eyes? They were following the conscience. The Spirit was in them, yeah. right? And following their own spirit and the conscience. Noah was uh, uh, Noah was. Uh, Uh, accepted as righteous righteous person and his family why they didn't have the holy spirit they didn't have the blood of jesus enoch was raptured why job was considered a righteous and very humble person mm -hmm. moses was very humble person righteous person. they didn't have the baptism in the holy spirit and the blood of christ so conscience they followed the right thing that conscience was leading them god spirit was living mm -hmm. in their conscience and we all have the spirit a part of spirit god is within us we are built in his uh, in his image and proverbs book of proverbs says that every man the the spirit of each human being is the lamp of god only mm -hmm. time the lamp is on when the holy spirit comes but the person who is unsaved they can be saved once they are saved the the lamp is on why holy spirit the oil comes in but until then the lamp is off but the spirit is there but dead no connection to the holy spirit so we are very blessed as i said christians are very blessed because we have the help of the holy spirit and those people who do not have the holy spirit those who do not uh, have not been connected their spirit have not been connected to the spirit of most high god they still have to do it hard way they have to listen to their conscience and god will judge non christians and christians 
um, you know, that we all will be judged. But because we have, we are in Christ, our judgment is a little different. We'll go in front of Bima seat. It's a little different than the people, those who do not believe or totally rejected Christ. Their judgment will be totally different. But they all will be judged. Why? 